Hi guys, how are you doing today? Welcome back to my channel, Portfolio Official. So guys, the United States government has charged the founder of Nigerian airline, Airpiece, Mr. Alien Oyema, with an alleged $20 million fraud and money laundering. The US Department of Justice announced this on, on Friday in a statement. According to the incident, Mr. Oyema allegedly moved the funds from Nigeria through US bank accounts using falsified documents in purchase of airplanes. Charged alongside Mr. Oyema is the Chief of Administration and Finance, who was identified for bank fraud and aggravated identity theft. In a bid to expand its regional and local operations, in 2018 September, Airpiece placed an order for 10 Boeing 737 MAX 8, and earlier this year, the airline purchased 10 brand new Embracer 195E2 planes from Brazil in a deal worth of 212.6 million US dollars. According to the US prosecutors, in 2010, Mr. Oyema opened several bank accounts in the US and moved over 44.9 million US dollars into accounts in Atlanta. In May 2016, Mr. Oyema, alongside with Chief for Financial Activities, I early used series to export letters of credit to transfer more than $20 million into the bank accounts, according to the US prosecutors. The letters were used to fund the purchase of five Boeing 737 passengers' planes. The investigator from the U.S. Drug Enforcement Administration, Internal Revenue Criminal Investigation, U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement, Homeland Security Investigation, Federal Aviation Administration and Department of Treasury claimed that Springfield Aviation Company, LLC, which is owned by Mr. Onyema and managed by a person with no connection to the aviation business, never owned the aircraft and the company that allegedly crafted the appraisers did not exist. Ali Oyama, Chief of Administration and Finance, I early participated in this scheme as well by directing Springfield Aviation Manager to sign and send false documents to banks and even using the manager's identity to further the fraud. After Oyama received the money in the United States of America, he allegedly laundered over 16 million US dollars of the proceeds of the fund by transferring them in other bank accounts. Oyama allegedly leveraged his status as a prominent business leader and airline executive while using falsified documents to commit fraud, said William Park, a U.S. attorney. Mr. Park said that they will diligently protect the integrity of our banking systems from being corrupted by criminals even when they disguise themselves in a cloak of international businessmen. Ali Oyama's status as a wealthy businessman turned out to be a fraud. He corrupted the U.S. banking system, but his trial of deceit and tricky came to a skidding halt. The DEA would like to thank other law enforcement agencies and subsequent prosecution of the U.S. Attorney's Office who added the investigation and made it a success. With the importance of the U.S. banking system, Mr. Park added that those attempting to use intricate schemes to commit bank fraud through falsified documents and other related means should know that the odds are now heavily staked against them as law enforcement agencies are combining its talents to protect the sanity and integrity of the nation's financial system. Oyama set up various innocent sounding multi million dollar asset purchases, which were nothing from his alleged front of his scams, said the acting special agent in charge, Robert Amman, who oversees operatives in Georgia and Alabama. The Director of Justice, however, reminded the general public that the incident only contained charges. The defenders is presumed innocent at the first instance, and it will be the government's burden to prove the defender's guilt in court. Mr. Oyama recently endowed himself to many Nigerians when his airline helped in evacuating hundreds of Nigerians caught in xenophobic attacks in South Africa. In the heat of xenophobic attacks in September, his airline offered a free travel to Nigerians willing to come back to their country after several Nigerian businesses and nationals were attacked in South Africa. He was lauded for the initiative and was honored by the National Assembly for his patriotic efforts and also honored by celebrities in Nigeria like Genevieve Inaji who took his patriotic work to their Instagram page, thanking him very well, including basketball matter Ayo Maku. So guys, we have seen the height of it all, like we have seen what people can do to make money. But for me, I don't believe that Mr. Onyema is guilty, and I don't believe that he can do such fraud. I mean, the man is a multi-millionaire businessman, and he has many businesses outside his airline, so I don't think he's guilty. You understand? I think he's innocent, although he has debunked the story, which will feature in our next video so if you are new to this channel don't forget to subscribe and push notification bell to get updated and I'll post new videos regarding Mr. Onyema and other fraud alas. Meanwhile if you think that Mr. Onyema is innocent and um, if you think that he cannot take part in such fraudulent activity please keep your comments on the comment section and don't forget to express what you feel like but if you think he's guilty if you think that he needs to be in jail if you need that he needs to see the inside of a prison cell 
please don't forget to keep the comments on the comment section and like this video if you are new you don't forget to subscribe and push the notification bell